What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Unqualified Critics. Finally, Simpsons, the cabinet that was and then was not, has been well mentioned by Arcade One Up. And I got a message a little while ago from a games journalist saying, "Hey, here's an insider scoop on what happened with Simpsons and why Arcade One Up stopped talking about it and where that went." So I want to share that with you guys. Before we get into that, this really announcement from Arcade One Up is made in reference to the X-Men cabinet, which is going live today as of this recording. So the X-Men four player Arcade One Up cabinet, which I've been saying I really am a fan of this new four player design. I'm a big fan of the coin doors. Um, little mini logos down here seems like a good balance between no logos for the extra games versus putting them in there. And then overall, the shape or the chassis, the cabinet itself, I think looks really good. So I think this is one of those design wins. We know they're a little inconsistent. Some of their cabinets are designed to look great. Some of them fall a little bit short. The issue I have with this is the price, but I think most of you are going to be picking between X-Men and Simpsons. I'm sure a lot of us would love to have both, but a lot of us aren't going to have room for two four-player cabs, especially if you already have NBA Jam or if you already have Golden Axe. Golden Axe is a cabinet that's been resurfacing lately too, which in my opinion has superior beat-em-ups and just overall the games list is superior to this in Simpsons. My opinion, obviously these games carry a lot of nostalgia for a lot of people. Um, X-Men and Simpsons were games I played back in the day. X-Men more so than Simpsons. I think I played Simpsons like a movie theater or something, but I really did love that game as uh, do many of you. So I'm looking forward to it coming out. It's not coming today, even though the X-Men pre-orders are going live. So let's talk about the pricing a little bit and then let's get into what the heck is going on with Simpsons. As you all know, the last four player cabinet that was just debuted, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, a couple weeks ago, pre-orders on arcadeonup.com, $650 plus, $75 shipping. Now, if you didn't want to pay shipping, you could just wait a few hours or a day or two and pre-order it from, I don't know if it was GameStop or Best Buy, I kind of forget, but there were retail stores that have it or had it for sale for the same price, but no shipping. And guys, I think that's kind of lame if I'm being honest. So Arcade One Up is cutting out the middleman selling directly, but they're actually charging you more than if you go through the middleman. That doesn't make sense. I honestly think that's absurd. Their most loyal fans are going to be the ones who order direct from them versus somebody who stumbles into a Best Buy and just happens to see the cabinet. I think charging your most loyal fans a higher price point, charging them for shipping when other retailers are not, is absurd. Now, do these big box retailers save money when they ship? Yes. But Arcade One Up is saving hundreds of dollars, I assure you by not selling this through a retailer. They could carve off a little bit of that hundreds of dollars and cover shipping, but they just don't. And I think it's a PR mistake and not optimal for us as fans. But again, I would just tell you, if you want free shipping, wait until this shows up at retailers. So X-Men is coming today as of the recording of this video, but let's look at the post that was made. They made one on Instagram and then a similar one on Twitter. Arcade One Up official to our community an update regarding our most recent arcade machine announcements, blah, 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 stuff about X-Men, Big Blue, Turtles in Time. But additionally to all Simpsons fans out there, we want to let you know that our pre-order is now set to go live early August. We'll keep you posted. So that's good news that it's coming. It's not canceled or anything. But it doesn't set a hard deadline, unlike what they did with their other cabinets. So what is going on? Well, let's look at this DM I received from a games journalist. Now, I can't tell you who sent this to me. So you've, you're free to take this with a grain of salt, but this is someone I have had a few exchanges with previously, although not about rumors and stuff, just general arcade uh, talk. And it is someone who I've verified does work for um, one of these really big gaming websites, one of the biggest. Here's what this person says. You can't tell anyone I'm the one who told you this, but Arcade One Up asked outlets to remove mention of Simpsons bowling, and they told us they were not going to promote the cabinet at all until they get some sort of okay from the licensor, I assume Disney. We were supposed to have a hands-on preview up this week. Now we have to wait. Do you guys remember about a month ago when E3 hit and Simpsons hype was at an all-time high? Arcade One Up was posting about it. 
There were leaks, yes, but they were actually then official unveiling of Simpsons. There were multiple media outlet pieces, and then it just completely went dry. And a lot of people were confused by that, myself included. Some of you guessed it involved Simpsons bullying, and it looks like you are right. It's hard to talk about this Simpsons arcade run up cabinet and not talk about Simpsons bowling because you see that big old trackball right in the center of the control panel that obviously you don't need for this Simpsons arcade game. It's obviously for bowling. So if you talk about the game, but then don't talk about bowling, it's a little weird. So it makes sense to me that they would have to cut coverage. To me though, I don't understand how you don't have those license or approvals completely 100% solidified before you go to the public. It's one thing when John D used to kind of wink and nod and give hints about things, but this was an actual full on press push that they were probably investing some money into as far as planning and organizing, getting their messaging out. And then to pull the brakes on it suggests there's some real issues with their licensing and or their marketing. And I don't know what that issue is. And I don't even really want to speculate on it because these are people's jobs and who knows, maybe this was completely out of arcade run ups control but it seems a little goofy so a couple thoughts just to recap simpsons is coming we're gonna get the pre-orders in early august apparently although we don't have a specific date or deadline so it's possible they're still working the kinks out and it's possible it will be longer but hopefully not and also we can assume it'll be 650 dollars obviously we're going to see by the time you're watching this video x-men pricing will be out but I really think it'll stay at 650. It's a more compelling cab than Turtles in Time, I think for more people. So why would you do it cheaper than Turtles in Time? I really hope these cabinets go on sale. I'm not even necessarily talking about major clearances, but Jesus, 650 for these cabinets, even with the stool, little steep. Five, 550, probably a better place to be. What do you guys think? Are you? Still looking forward to Simpsons. Would you drop the $650 plus $75 shipping? Let me know in the comments. Hit like on the video if you've enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you soon. Big shout out to all of my channel members. If you want to join Unqualified Critics, hit the red button below that says join, and thank you for watching.